you end up with a floating drag racer. These alcohol-fueled screamers get up to 160 miles an hour in the blink of an eye. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Davis. All right, here he goes. Now, see what happens when something goes terribly wrong. Watch again from the point of view of a spectator who was directly in the path of the drag boat. The driver of the boat is knocked unconscious, his condition critical. On this race day, drag boat driver Jerry Davis is looking forward to victory. Instead, it's a day Jerry will never forget. He breaks his neck, shatters his shoulder, and fights for his life. The boat came by me and missed me. Jerry's wife, Nancy, watches in horror from the shoreline. The first thing that crossed my mind was that Jerry was dead. Jerry hits at 130 miles an hour. At that speed, water turns to concrete. Jerry remains motionless, floating face down in the water. Spectators, please back away from the area. Critical seconds pass as scuba divers and paramedics race to the unconscious racer. Paramedics are amazed to discover Jerry is still breathing. If he has any hope of surviving, he must get to a trauma center within the hour. Thanks to the rescue crew and a medevac flight, Jerry made it. I hit the water head first, and I felt a sharp pain across the back of my neck, and that may have been what broke the neck then, I'm not real sure. As I left the starting line, the uh, boat left just fine, and all at once it just kind of went kind of crazy, like the nose went down, and I tried to lift it up, it just wouldn't raise up, so apparently about cost my air made it nosedive and went into a spin. A spin that propelled the boat onto the shore, missing spectators by inches. The doctor said I'd never race again and couldn't never move my arm again. After a grueling two-year rehab, Jerry did race again, winning the world championship in 1998. As you see by, in front of the boat, we got saved by the grace of God. As you see by several crashes I've had, it's really the truth. 